Hi, and welcome to my OLAT account. On this Hardcore Iron Man, I must train all stats one level at a time. The first big goal is, as with every account that I make, to get max available quest points. This is my journey to Questcape. Boom, 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 boom. Four quests completed, as well as the Nevarbuck Easy, as well as the Medium Diary. Now, I wanted to complete the Medium Diary because apparently what I forgot is that the Varak Armor 2 has a 10% chance of mining two ores up until Mithril while you're wearing it, I think. This will be quite helpful because one third of my mining experience will still be done with mining some iron. Also, if I claim the reward, I will get 2.5 and 7,500 experience which I will now be spending on Salaya. Because I've now gotten 10,000 free Slayer experience, I have freed up 40,000 Comet experience. So subtract the 12,000 XP from the Fight Arena quest. So two diaries, four quests, but there is still one quest and one mini quest that I want to do. But to be able to complete that final quest, I will need to catch some nature implings. So Puro Puro, what do I need? Possibly the final inventory of nature implics because only one more magic locks is needed and there we go That is number 13 One is needed for morning's end part 1 quest and the other 12 for a desert treasure Which is also my final quest prerequisite for barrels gloves Now I only need to get 66 cooking and a chef's delight But first desert treasure that should be fairly simple with base 60 stats Well, that was easy. Just fell once. Nice. Quest completed, which will start or initiate get it, me getting base 62 because this does not look good at all. Everything 61 besides magic, that is not good at all. Right, let's get on to base 62. Let's see, cannibal task. Please, trolls in Keldegra. Yes, it is cannibal. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, wait, they have 200 range defense, don't they? Why does she keep giving me trolls as assignments? Such a bitch. I'm so stupid for getting about their defense level. So let's try this again. Anku's in a stronghold. Perfect. There we go. Task completed. Another 90. Wait, 270 points? All right, let's quickly put this on the fence twice four level 62 defense still yeah still 79 combat base 62 now the only thing remaining is then crafting and woodcutting yes and then construction will be last because i want to be using some tears of gothics on this so i have decided to put all my speed that i will be getting from tears of gothics on construction i have stopped using all of these tears on herblore a long time ago because Herbler is quite easy with master farmers and farming contracts and all that other good stuff. Now the biggest problem that I have at the moment is then Slayer. If there was a way that I could get a lot of Slayer experience without getting any combat experience, then I could spend my combat experience on doing things like gangsters and get combat experience without or with very little hit points XP. But the problem is that Slayer is quite difficult, in my opinion, to have as your very lowest skill. And if it happens to be my lowest skill, then yeah, that kind of means that I have some issues with combat experience that skilling around. Another thing that might be very helpful is to get some more money, because money, I can spend that on like smithing to buy some ores real quickly, as well as construction, as well as making broad arrows for fletching. Money is always helpful to speed things up. And the biggest money sink that I have right now is construction. So if I just have construction as my lowest skill, that could save me a lot of money. And that made me kind of realize is that one tier of Tears of Gothics always provides 60 experience. Doesn't matter what level or what skill it goes on to, one tier, 60 XP. And 60 XP is exactly one oak plank. So for every tier that I gather in my little bowl over here, that means one less oak plank that I will have to use, as well as make, which costs 250 GP. And that is the final skill, level 62, which is crafting. I had to buy some more soda ash to be able to get this crafting level. Ah, oh, I didn't see if there was anything new. Nothing, right? 
Now that it should be one step closer. No, fire battle staffs. That is this level. I knew it. Now I was thinking of making fire battle staffs on this account, but going all the way to the fire altar with only 62 agility, that isn't really too fun. So I think I'm gonna be waiting until like 67 base so I can make some agility potions to get through that pipe in the Taverly dungeon. So that is base 62. Between level 62 and 63 there isn't really any differences, but from level 63 there will be like one or two changes in my skilling round, so I am looking forward to that. So let's immediately get 63 base. Yes, it is finally over. This should be 300 points and that should be... And that also should be exactly one level with barely any more points remaining. Please let it be. Yes, there we go. Barely 63 prayer as well as 63 base. Nothing really new or exciting happened between 62 and 63. So let's move on to 64. And that is gonna be it for this video. A small dent has been made in the excess HP XP and we got approximately 103,000 XP to go before that stat is finally equalized. Let's make some more dents in the next couple of videos. I thank you all very much for watching. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.